Hey everybody, Dirty Dan here. So, today, we've got a Lima, Lima, whichever way you prefer, 282. This is a very weird locomotive, I'll just come out there and say that. Um, apparently it's based off of some French prototype or something, I honestly have no idea, but it's been sort of Americanized. Um, it has ATNSF markings on it. Um, I bought this back at the Greensburg show, uh, I believe maybe a year ago, not, not even, it, it wasn't too, too long ago, but... It has no coupler on the back, and the whole front end has been kind of busted up. I do have the little compressor bit. So the plan is to, um, well, the entire uh, pilot has been broken off. Somebody glued it back on, but it's not quite glued on right. So what I'm going to do is we're also missing one of the side steps. So I'm either, do I've been debating between scratch building a, pe uh, a piece to replace it, or just going ahead and 3D printing something, which... I have the ability to, I have the ability to do. So, um, I'm likely going to go with the 3D printing option because that would be much easier and probably produce a better result. So, anyways, besides that, I did get it running when I got it. It, um, had some pickup issues that I resolved. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's get into it. get to cleaning parts. Okay, well, with all that done, we've got one heck of a clean locomotive. Um, a bit of bad news. The steps uh, problem, where we are missing one side, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make a replacement at the moment. So, for now, I'm going to have to leave it. And I may actually uh, try to find a replacement instead of trying to make another one because I feel like it's probably never going to get the same look. It probably won't look exactly the same and it, it might throw it off. So I'll probably just look, I mean, it's a whole detachable piece as you can see. So it might just, might just be better to find a replacement. And uh, I know a place where I can probably get one that's coming up soon. So yeah, well, now everything's clean. I just got to, um, well, see, there's another issue. I have to replace the rear coupler box because the coupler box is actually broken. So I've gotten a new old stock coupler that I'm, and box that I'm going to end up gluing to the rear truck uh, once we've got that all together. Uh, it was quite a bit of cleaning work. And believe it or not, they used this, um, this same exact uh, huge circular motor in their uh, 040s. So I have, I think I believe I have every Lima steam engine actually now. So that's besides the point. Let's uh, get this damn thing back together. <laughs>
have our finished Lima 282. As you can see, it runs quite well. I've given a, a nice ATNSF uh, branded consist. Uh, dug out some more of my El Capitan box cars. Love them things. Gonna try to get more of those. But as you can see, the thing runs fantastic. It looks awesome. Uh, I think I need to clean my track a little bit, but that's besides the point. Unfortunately, we weren't able to replace the ladder, but I'll get that to that in the future. And while I was troubleshooting the engine, because originally when I had gone to test it, it was doing some weird things. It turns out one of the wires was loose, which is, makes me feel stupid. Oh. Yeah, my track is definitely dirty. Okay, well, let me stop that there. But um, yeah, so what happened was I went to go push the engine and the gears engaged. So it kind of went like this, but I'm not going to actually do it. But the wheels would be turning, so it would be turning the motor. And that was a stupid move. Um, what it did was it ended up chipping a tooth off of the gear that connects the wheels to the motor. And well, luckily, in this case, I had a spare gear. But that is a lesson learned not to do that because the engine did work with that, with that like that. But it worked as kind of a stretch. I mean, honestly, if it got to a certain point, the motor would just spin and it wouldn't move. So, yeah, that's a lesson. Don't push your, uh, it doesn't matter what engine it is. If it is geared and you try to push it, just don't. It'll break. And, and if it's, especially if it's a thinner gear like this one, it might, the uh, same thing might happen to you. But I will admit, even though it's based off of some weird French prototype thingy, I think this engine is absolutely beautiful. Um, I am really happy to have one of these in my collection. I'd like to get another one, honestly, because they're so cool. Um, and, you know, since this one is in kind of meh condition with that broken step in it, that's just going to bother me for the rest of the time, I'm, I'm going to be honest. So I'd like to either get a replacement step or find one that has that. So for now, it'll stay the way it is um, and keep looking like it is. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you next time. Bye. Uh -huh.